Okay guys, so welcome back to our 44 PHP MySQL video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about MySQL select query. So what is the reason, what is the need to basically implement a select query? That is a question which comes in my mind when I first know about the, there is a select query. As from name, you can understand that it's about selecting the data in our database. So there are two major purposes of using the select query. The first one is when you are comparing something, for example, a data which you get from your HTML form, and you want to compare it with the data which is stored in database, like during the login process. You know, you give your username, your password, and then they match up from database. And if you are exist in database, then the visitor goes to, uh, you know, to whatever specific place or just another case you know if the data is not matched in our in the database which is stored so it goes to a error page or saying something you know you have typed the wrong use an impossible and things like that so basically that is the purpose and the second purpose which you know these two are the major purposes of using the select query could be many others but basically we are focusing on these two so the so second purpose for using the select query here is basically you want to show up the data for example, you have a table of, you know, of plenty of values, for example, in a online store. So when they see a report that they want to know about the profit and loss on all those kinds of things. So they store a database with each and every transaction and they update it, you know, according to the code, the programmer did. So when they want to, this, you know, they want to see something like a report. So they use the select query to get the data from database according to different requirements and different conditions. So that is the basic, the second major purpose of using the select query. So first of all, in this case, we are going to match up things with, because we are having stored our username coming from our HTML form in the variable dollar sign V1. So we will try to match this value, which is stored in, in variable V1 with the data that we have stored in our database. Users name, name is the name of the, our table and there is a name and password, there is a name and class, so we will try to match up that. So first of all, I will just simply use select, S-E-L-E-C, -E select, because I want to you know, show up all the fields of a particular record, so I will use static. In the select query, static works really well. So uh, select static from the, then the name of the table, which is users, and we, uh, you know, and we need to specify a specific record by using where keyword as we already know. So where well, I was saying name equal to dollar sign V1. So it will actually check up the value, match up the, the, the name which we are providing here and it will get the record of that. So in this case, first of all, I have already typed the query in dollar sign in the our variable Q. So now I, we need to basically execute this query as well. So I will create uh, another variable. I will say it Q1 and I will say my SQLI underscore query. So this function, as we already know, it took us two parameters. The first one is the connection dollar sign con. Then the second one is the query itself. But here we can use the dollar sign Q, which is a Q variable, which has the uh, query in itself. So this MySQL underscore query function will execute and store the output in the dollar sign Q1. So because, you know, for example, it, it works like that. First of all, it runs one time, it runs on a row and then it reads all the values stored in a row. Then it goes to the second one because it cannot read all the data in, all, in, in the whole table. Could be thousands of records. So it, go, it went by row by row. So that is why we are going to use here while while loop if you have missed the tutorial of while loop you can check back in our playlist of this php and mysql tutorial series and you will have a better idea with with the while loop so while then the condition of while and then the body of the while will come here so i will just give them a little bit more placing so here while here is the most important thing in our tutorial so mysql query is executing the query and that output of this function is stored in the q1 variable so what i'm going to use here that i'm going to use my sqli underscore fetch as because i already already told you the work which done with the select query is basically 
going by row by row process. So we are going to exact date. First of all, we get a row, match it up. If not matched, then go to the next one and go to the next one. So that is how we are going here. So while my SQLI underscore fetch underscore array by using the array we get the result in the form of array so we can actually pinpoint the result which we want to show up here so that's how we're going here my sqli underscore fetch underscore array this function requires a single parameter which is the result of the my sqli query so in this case i am going to provide it dollar sign q1 here so that is how it's working here so here you can see it will run for example first time it will run and the result matchup so it will show you know the body of the while loop will be executed and then it will check again you know it will not stop if it matched the result it will go till the end of our table you know till the last row so that is how we need to deal with this one so for example if we want that the record match at least one time which is the you know a basic case of the login system so i will say if it match the row echo i will say record found and then i want to go you know i want to break this loop i want to go after of this one so i will simply use break keyword and that's that's it that is how we are working here let's save this one and let's refresh our page so first of all let's go in our uh, my local host and then we will go into the php my admin and we will have a look at our tables again okay php my admin it's taking some time don't know really something with the ports so yeah it's a little bit slow so that's and then the user which is the name of our table and i will just click here and here you can see there are two records at the moment in this one so i will just simply go with the name ali i can type whatever name i want here so that's really a basic thing we will go with you know in much more advanced level to much more advanced level in our you know future tutorial so ali let our match is saying that record found let's say i type ali but with double i it should not match because there is no a l double i it's just simple single i record that there is no double i so click on it it's just in connection established because the query hasn't executed yet so that is the basic you know a basic concept of select query this query will take about four or five more tutorials to you know to show you something something really useful the way the work of this query and how we can implement it in a better way so don't forget to watch our next tutorial to cover this select query so if you have any question regarding this work you are welcome to ask you can just leave a comment below this video as well so take care of yourself guys and goodbye Visit our website www.sartreviews.com and then go to learn section from menu. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more.